everybody, it's 19 minutes past 3 p.m. here in Brisbane on Wednesday, the 14th of June, and I am out of the ring with Pound Yen. So this was a very quick spar and a beautiful first round. So let's take a look. So when I was doing the fight card video, we were sitting around here and I was looking at this level around the 174.40 area as an area for the buyers to come back and potentially take over this market once again so for the pullback to be over so any signs of reversal and I mentioned that this might take place within the next couple of hours so let's drop down into the one hour chart and take a look so as we can see here is the pullback and the bounce of that level so we reacted to that level and pull back but on this point we don't really know if the buyers are ready to take over or this is simply a pullback and we might see another ping. So then came the push lower and we printed a higher low. Not, not only we printed a higher low, we also made a higher high with pretty much one candle. So that shows me buyer strength. So what I'm looking for here is drilling down into lower time frame and looking for signs of a reversal. Could potentially reverse around this area and try to attack higher but I'm not looking for a big move here. I'm looking for a push toward this area. So in and around the 175. So, so drilling down into lower time frame, and let's take a look at the 15 minutes over there. We can see that on this push lower, we actually started a new downtrend. So lower highs and lower lows. And this push cleared them both. So I was looking for a limit offense around this area, around this consolidation area. And as you can see, we pull back pretty much to touch it on the nose. So a couple of points higher and I might have missed this altogether. And as we can see, we pushed higher and pull back. Now, this is the news candle. So a couple of things around that. Since this was already going in the direction that I wanted and my offense was working, I was able to move my defense line to protect myself. And this is pretty important, especially in times of high volatility news, because having my defense close mean that even if the market reverse and start punching back, I won't be hurting as much. So as my defense was already protecting my risk, I was quite happy to hold it through the news. Now on another day, this could have just reversed and continued lower. So it's important to follow the plan. My plan was to take a knockout at that area. You can see it a quite significant area. We actually pulled back to test it from above. In this case, we kept on going higher, but that's okay. I'm still leaving the ring a winner and I knock out my opponent. Happy knockouts, everyone. Bye for now.